Welcome to the new section in this course, Exploring Paging Library, Section 5. In this section, I'll tell you about this architecture component named Paging, how it works, what are its advantages, and we will see its implementation in our demo application. So let's get started. Introduction and Setup In this video, I'll give you an overview of what Paging Library is and we will set up our Android project. Paging Architecture Component The Paging Library makes it easy to load data gradually and gracefully within our app's recycler view. It helps in loading and displaying the data efficiently in chunks. Basically, Paging Library is used in case when we are about to fetch a large number of data from the database or the network. So speaking of the advantages of using the Paging Library, the data request consumes less network bandwidth and fewer system resources. So the users who have metered or small data plans will appreciate such a data conscious app. The apps give quick response even during the data update or refresh and also continues to respond quickly to the user input. Now to implement the paging in this section, we will use the Git API to search the repository for Android. And thus there are few prerequisites that you need to have. You need to have the basic knowledge on Kotlin language because we are going to code in Kotlin. You should have Android Studio 3.0 or greater. You need to have the knowledge on view model and live data. So please make sure you watch the previous sections explaining the detail on the view model and live data you need to have the knowledge on retrofit and you need to know how to implement recycler view into your application. So that's all you need. Now let us move to Android Studio and make the basic project setup required for implementing paging in our app. So here I have created a new Android project and I'll walk you through the initial setup that I have made. First, starting with the build.gradle file of the app module, you need to add certain dependencies. You first need to apply the Kotlin cap plugin and then moving to the dependencies. These are the dependencies that you need. First, I have defined the paging version and the view model version. And then I have added the dependencies for retrofit, for logging, view model and live data, and then paging. And in this project, I'm using Android X. So you need to update the other dependencies as well. No need to worry, you can get this Gradle file from the source code provided with this section. Just copy the build.gradle file of the app module and paste it into your project. Sync your project and you will be good to go. I have also made some changes and added few files in the resource folder of our project. So in the resource folder, starting from the drawable directory, I have added two XML files. One is IC git branch and the other is IC star. You can get this as well from the source code with this section. Next, in the layout directory, I have updated the activity main.xml file as well as I have added the list item.xml. In the activity main.xml, I have updated the root layout to linear layout and I have added a recycler view. And in the list item.xml, I'm using card view as the root layout and in the card view, I have added a text view for the repository name, another text view for description and then we have the text view for the repository language, two image views and two text view for the star count and the fork count. Just copy the layout files from the source code and you'll be good to go. Next, coming to the values folder, in the colors.xml, I have made changes and added few colors in the resource file. In the diamond.xml, I have added few dimensions. In the strings.xml, I have added few string resources, which will be the dummy value for the text views. And the styles.xml is same. I have made no changes in it. So you can just copy the resource directory and paste it in your Android project. Next, in the manifest file, I have added the internet permission 
because we will be using the retrofit API. Now this is the basic project setup that you need to make to get started with paging for this section. Now let me show you the URL that we are going to use for making the request and the response that we receive. So here it is. I am using the GitHub API for searching the repositories related to Android. This is my base URL and this is my endpoint of the URL. And I am passing the queries here. Right now I need to search the repository for topic Android for which we need to use Q. We need to sort it by stars and for paging the start page is one and for one page right now I'm fetching three items. So here is the response from the API. The total count of the Android related repositories is 801377. The incomplete result is false and these are the items that the API has returned. Currently the number of items I asked for is three and this is in the JSON format and we will just fetch few of them. For each item I am going to fetch the full name, the description and then we are going to fetch the fox count and the stargazers count. So these are the details that we will fetch from this API response. So let us move to Android Studio and create a model class for this response which we will use for passing the response. So in our main package we'll create a new class. The name for which we will give is git repo. Kind will be class, hit ok. So let me write the code for it and then I'll explain it to you. So here it is. So my main class is git repo response. Starting with the total count it is of n type for which the initial value is 0. The property name for me is total count but the response that I get for total count from the API has the value of total count. So here you can use this as the property here but I'll prefer using total count in the camel case and then I've used the serialized name to set the actual value for the API key. So this total count has to be same as this one. So here is the item which is of type list git repo. The git repo is defined here. Full name, description, star count, the fox count and the language. So our model class is ready. So this was all about this video.